Well, joining me now is Jan Tekau from Berlin. He's a political scientist. And uh, Jan, these relations between the two countries, the leaders are keen to say they're very important and they're very good. But we know real tensions between those two nations. Yes, I mean, we have um, a relationship between Germany and the United States that is at its absolute low point. Uh, it has never really been as bad as it is at the moment for a number of reasons. Um, first of all, because of a looming uh, trade war, uh, Donald Trump has made it amply clear a number of times that he believes that Germany uh, is playing a bad role in trade and is making use of the United States, is taking the United States for granted. We have issues on Nord Stream, a pipeline issue we have on defense spending and potentially also on Iran. Run. So quite a number of issues that are on the agenda here. Well, yeah, quite a lot to get through. He only met with the German Chancellor, didn't he, for a very brief period of time. What came out of this meeting? Was there any, any resolution, any sign of agreement? No, I mean, we couldn't really tell from the little press conference that they did. Um, they didn't reveal anything. Um, I think one of the major topics that they must have talked about today was yesterday's offer from the German side to participate um, in a uh, uh, some sort of no-fly protective zone in Syria. Uh, the Germans kind of pulled this out of the hat shortly before Pompeo arrived to demonstrate goodwill, in my opinion. Um, and uh, Pompeo will now take the Germans by their word and see whether the Chancellor is ready to commit German troops to such, an, such a deployment. Um, this will create uh, domestic issues in Germany because the coalition is not unified on this position here. Um, so uh, she might have pleased the Americans, but could get into trouble back home for it. And just looking then at the, the picture across Europe, we've had stern warnings from Mike Pompeo to Germany and others, don't use Huawei. Do you think the European countries are going to push ahead anyway? Um, I think actually the European countries will probably cave in on this issue, uh, not on the surface. On the surface, they will not, you know, for example, come up with a ban or some kind of legal motion against Huawei. Um, but they will uh, finesse um, procurement regulation and stuff like this in a way that Huawei um, will in the end most likely be excluded from any bidding here. Um, that is, at the moment, my best guess on this issue. Um, it is hugely contentious. Um, uh, but at the same time, American pressure is quite considerable. And at the same time, also the Europeans have come to their own assessment that Huawei and, and the Chinese uh, state power that's behind it might not be a great partner to deal with in this context. Well, Jan Takao, really interesting speaking to you there. Thanks very much. Uh, Jan Takao joining us from Berlin.